<clears throat> grandson of right thought. If you were going in a room and it had a big ass sign on the door that said danger, do not enter, danger, risk of losing life and shit. <laughs> <laughs> risk of losing your life and shit got a sign that said that shit on it and you're standing there looking at this shit reading the signs and shit you're like I don't think I want to go in that room but while you're standing there pondering a person comes walking out of that room they open the door the door comes open a person comes walking out they look fine they look all happy and shit and you're like hey what the hell that shit say danger don't enter and shit could lose your life and the guy's like oh man that's just bullshit it just say that shit. Okay? Now, meanwhile, you didn't realize this nigga had on a special outfit that protected his ass from the whatever the harmful shit that is in that room. He had that shit on. So he would just lie to you and told you, who don't know about this special suit, oh, yeah, man, just go on in there, man. That's just bullshit. They just lying. Now, you walk in there. The shit hit your skin. Oh, shit. You run back out hollering and shit, burning, sizzling and shit. <laughs> skin popping and bubbling, sizzling and shit. <laughs> you like, damn, what the hell kind of room is that shit? <laughs> you like, what the hell kind of room is this? I thought you said it was safe and that shit was a lie. It's all right to go in there. Then he turns to you while he's taking his magic suit off. He's like, ah, just lied to you. I was just fucking around. I was just bullshitting. How are you going to feel? You got burns and shit all over your fucking body. Skin bubbled all up, burning and shit. Hanging down and every damn thing. How are you going to feel about that guy that told you that? Okay. But then at the end of the day, regardless of what that guy did, you're going to have to look at yourself and say, But the fucking signs, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to look you're gonna have to say the signs told me there's a risk of me losing my life I could die if I go in there it said danger do not enter why the hell did I listen to that guy it's the same thing you niggas is doing in this truth There's some shit happening around you. <laughs> There's some shit happening around you. And you like, I need to stay away from that shit. Let me go this way. All of a sudden, a nigga, hey man, come over here with us, man. You like, oh, so it, it's all right? It's all good to go over there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like that nigga that was at the pool party. And them two sexy ass girls was like, come up to our room with us. He's like, wait, this never happened to me before. <gasps> this is my chance. Danger signs and shit. Hey, risk of life, nigga. Hold on, nigga. <laughs> all that shit. He skipped all that shit because the girl said, come on up. Same process, in other words. And it's the same shit that's happening with y'all. You're getting enticed because somebody's saying something other than the truth. Remember the devil and Eve? You ain't gonna die, baby. Go ahead on and do it. You ain't gonna die if you go in that room. Go ahead on in there. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Why did I listen to him? He's a fucking deceiver, man. You didn't realize that? The nigga just lies. And that's the world you live in. That's overrun with deceivers. Them niggas lie about every goddamn thing. But they know the law. And they know that they have to tell you the truth or else they can't continue so what they've developed is a way of talking with deception and then doing things and making it sound all fanciful while telling you some really fucking crazy horrendous shit man <laughs> i'll give you an example in the book of revelation what does it say that this beast system uses against the people of this system it says sorcery and pharmakia Pharmakia, the Greek word for pharmacy. Pharmakia. So, the writer of Revelation is saying that in the end times, the people of the beast system, the beast system is using pharmakia 
the pharmaceutical industry. <laughs> See those same words? Pharma? Pharma. <laughs> you might as well start to get that shit in your head thick. Pharma. Because that's who's fucking y'all up. Pharma. <laughs> and the Bible straight told you that's what they're going to use. So what do they do? Them niggas get right on the commercial and be like, yes, here's some shit called Viltiparize. Viltiparile will give you, uh, it'll help your hair loss situation. You're losing your hair, use vi Valhiparol or whatever the hell they call that shit. Valhiparol. Then, it, then at the end of the video, the guy's talking fast as hell. Yes, if you use Valhiparol, you might have heart palpitations. You could die. You could fall out and, and have fainting. You could uh, have uh, anal leakage. You could have uh, <laughs> dysphoria. Um, uh, and hallucinations. Uh, if, if you have any of this, please consult your doctor. But he's saying that shit real fucking fast. So the Valhiparol <laughs> gonna make a nigga hair grow back, but it's gonna tear that nigga ass up in some other kind of fucking way. Now, in this world you live in, you everything is like that. The beast is a perverted ass damn creature. Everything he puts forth is death. Y'all see that? He can't help but do it. He be like, look, people of the system, I just gave you a way to travel faster and more and more easier. It's called a car. Yeah, but you forgot to mention you're pumping gas into that bitch, which is putting fumes out into the atmosphere, which is killing shit. Yeah, but you get there faster, don't ya? See how this nigga do? Everything come at a fucking cost with this bitch. That's why I hate that nigga. I hate the beast. How y'all feel about that nigga? How do y'all feel about it? Because everything this nigga do come with a fucking cost with the shit. Everything. You eat something, it tastes good as hell in your mouth, don't it? Come on, girl, that's trying to lose that 15 pounds. That cheesecake, good than a some bitch. But as soon as you swallow it, that guilt going to kick in. <laughs> That's what this, this world is vanity as hell, y'all. This shit vanity than a motherfucker, man. The beast system is the biggest hamster wheel ever created. Shit. That bitch just spin, 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 don't go no goddamn where. You ain't making no progress on none of the shit you do, except negative progress. <laughs> The wages of sin is death and it's true. Like I said, that cheesecake good than the son of a bitch while you chewing this shit in your mouth. The flavors is all switching around in there and shit. The fucking cheese and shit getting with the crust. Oh shit, this shit good as hell. But when you swallow it, uh-oh, what about them extra pounds that shit gonna put on you? Fuck. Fuck this world sucks. Why can't I live in a world where I eat the cheesecake as much as the hell I wanted the shit and don't gain no fucking weight? I still got a six pack. Why this world ain't like that? It's the world of vanity, man. It's the world of sacrifice, buddy. Everything in this world costs. Everything. And that's part of the curse. And y'all don't seem to get that. The fruit was it on the trees when Adam was walking through the garden. <laughs> when he walked up to the mango tree. The mangoes was, was already on there. He could just pick it and eat it. You see how he didn't have to do anything? But what was the curse? Now you got to tend that bitch. You got to dig in the soil and shit. Nigga got to hope he got a green thumb and shit. <laughs> so his plants will grow. Hope the rain come. He praying the rain, dancing and shit. He dan rain, dancing and shit. Hoping the rain to come through to get his crops and shit. He didn't have to do that before. It just yielded it up on his own. You see? But whenever we go for vanity, I want to tell y'all something. That word evil, take that word out of your mind and put vanity in its place. Y'all hear me? Apply the word vanity. When you want to say something is bad or something is evil, just substitute that word for vanity. It's vanity to do it. Put that instead because that's truly what it is. 
He didn't say, thou should not take the Lord's name in evil. He said, don't take his name in vain. Don't say I am and then put something after I am that's bullshit in a waste. That doesn't do anything. That's not effective because that would be a lie. That would mean you are not. Watch this, what I'm saying. You get into the boxing ring. You're about to fight somebody. Your thoughts in that moment are, oh shit, this nigga gonna beat my ass. So then you're not thinking about I am. You're thinking about that nigga's ability, aren't you? See? <laughs> you see how easy that shit is to understand? How simple that is to grasp? You think about that nigga. Now, Abba don't want you doing that because when you do that, you take his name in vain. You take I am in vain. I am has become vain in that moment or empty, pointless and useless because you're not using it. Don't you see how simple and easy that shit is to understand, y'all? So that's why he said don't do it. I am weak. I am is not weak. I know you think I am is you, but I am is me. That's what Abba's saying. I am I am. <laughs> I am that I am. See? I am I am. I am I am. So therefore, when you say I am, you're speaking of me. Now, you like calling me weak? Well, no, Abba, I never call you that. Well, then stop calling I am weak. You would call me a fool? No, Father, I'd never call you that. Well, stop calling I am a damn fool. Damn. And it's so easy to understand. Is I am stupid? Then stop calling God stupid then. Well, I'm not calling God stupid. I was just saying I was stupid because of that thing I did. Oh, boy. You don't understand still? Are you still lost? So you think it's okay to say that God is not stupid, but it's okay to call yourself stupid. You think that pleases God for you to call yourself stupid. Either way you do this shit or slice it, flip it, dip it, rip it, sip it, clip it, it don't fucking matter. It's coming down to the same truth. Don't speak bad of I am. Period. Period. You can't justify doing that because that's God's name. So you can't justify speaking bullshit. That fucking simple. Speaking vanity, hatred, lies, iniquities of that name. See? It's always going to come back to that. So like I said, you just sit back and relax and say, hold on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. A nigga, nigga's just out here just trying to dupe me out of the simple truth of I am. There's a truth that exists already and all this system can do is steal that away, destroy that away, or kill that away. That's all it can try to do. It can't actually do anything else. So then I just will go back to the old path where the truth already was from the beginning. Go back to the beginning before the truth was infiltrated and lied, ab lied upon. You see? And then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free from all your lies. Wait a minute. Abba in me. Christ said, it's not me who do these works y'all see me do. When y'all marvel and y'all read about Jesus Christ in the Bible and you say, wow, Jesus Christ, he did this and did this and did this and he told you his own mouth. Yahushua said, I don't do anything of my own. <laughs> it's the Father who's doing it. Because I am can do nothing on my own. I am can't do anything without Abba because Abba is I am. So how can I separate myself and say, I did this and not the Father? No, everything, what did you say? In him we have our, mo our moving and our being, guys. Y'all hear that? In him is our being. I am. So a nigga says, I am a attorney. I'm an attorney. See, when he shakes your hand, I'm an attorney. See? That's God manifesting himself as an attorney. So that he'll have the experience. So then he'll know. So when that man who is that attorney stands before the Most High, the Most High can say, I know exactly how you felt. I know exactly what it was like because I, I was there with you doing it. The man says, I am a beggar. 
Abaya is that beggar who's getting the experience so that when that beggar says, well, this, well, this, God can say, well, I know because I was there with you. It doesn't matter what that person says they are. They're saying I am is that thing. They're saying Abba is that thing. Don't you see it? So that's why people get mad at the grandson of right thought when their grandson says, I'm the anointed one. I am Christ. Now you tell me who Christ is. Uh-oh. Trickity trick, baggy bag. Mm-hmm. I told y'all. Who is Christ then? I am is. If you do not believe that I am he, then you shall die in your sins. Sin means wrong thoughts. You were thinking wrong about something, so you died. If you think you're drowned, you're drowned. If you think the boat will stay in peace be still, then the boat will be in peace be still. You won't die. So you die because of your wrong thoughts. So Christ overcame death so that you won't be thinking about it or having fear of it. Simple as that. I am can't die. So I am I am. I can't die. So then why am I afraid of saying, oh my God, when my spirit come out of this body, I'm dead. No, your spirit is going to go to a new location. It says the spirit is like the wind blowing. It's like the breeze moving about. Isn't that what it say? All right then. So let truth be your guide or let these niggas lie. <laughs> let truth be your guide or just let these niggas lie. Your choice. Silawam Israel.